Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. There was a discussion on AR15.com the other day about 22 TCM and the 22 TCM 9R in relation to penetration versus steel. The original poster had mentioned that he shot some boxed steel at about seven yards with a couple different 5.7 loads and some 22 TCM. This piece that you see in front of you is from him. These couple of holes and these larger divots are from the 22 TCM. Here was the 198 from 5.7 AE 5.7. So we offered to take the same piece of box steel and shoot it with some of our more exotic loads in 5.7 like our S4M, our SS190, T6, T6B, and a couple other loads that I grabbed out of the safe to test against. We have both the 5.7 and the PS90 SBR today. This is pretty much all iron. The front side of the box is 190, so basically 3 16 The back side is about 10 thousandths thinner at 180. Hardness was 21 on the C scale or 101 on the B scale, so a pretty mild steel. I mean, AR500 armor is right around you know, 50 on the C scale or so, so this is pretty mild to that. We're going to angle it slightly down, and we'll be at 7 yards. We'll set the chronograph up for this just so we have some good numbers against it. So let's get into this. Up first, we'll try American Eagle TMJ loaded by Elite Ammunition. That's their Penetrator 2.0 round. Then some SS190. Nineteen sixty, nineteen fifty two. Here is our penetrator two point oh, and here is our SS one ninety. Neither had a penetration, but it looks like the extra velocity from the American Eagle TMJ definitely helped it penetrate further into the steel. As we suspected, or as I suspected with the SS190, usually what happens is the core gets pushed out because it has an open base, and usually in steel you have this, this little guy hanging out there. All right, the next two rounds we have are from Elite Ammunition. One is the T6, not the T6B, it's 28 grains. Then we have their Devastator 2.0, I believe it's 34, 35 grains. We'll see what's gonna happen with these. These are a harder copper. Shoot the T6 first. Didn't get a velocity reading off that, it's fine. Pulled the shot on the dev way down here, or I'm not sighted in for it. This was the T6. Still didn't go through. It's working its way though. It's got the biggest dimple so far of almost passing through. I think with these projectile designs, we just might need more velocity. Let's try the PS90 and see what's going to happen. We took the chronograph away mainly because it's getting a little on the dark side or at least the sun's in an awkward position that we're not getting a shadow so we're not getting a reading. We know out of the SBR we should get faster velocities maybe by about 200 feet per second over the pistol so we'll try the EA Penetrator 2.0 and the SS190 again. Here was our American Eagle TMJ. We got a nice ragged hole in there. 
Unfortunately, there's our SS190. There's still a dimple in the back side of there, but no pass through. Again, I think that open base kind of contributes to that limited penetration and harder armor because it kind of pushes the core out of the way. Now we'll try some T6B. This is the 32 grain, and I have one more of the Devastators left. T6B first. This is our T6B hole. That is a hole. Unfortunately, I hit the dev too high and on an angle. I would think maybe if I had some more, I would think maybe that design would probably go through on the SBR. Kind of need all that copper there. Well, these are some pretty interesting results. I actually talked to the Wound Channel the other day about this in regards to steel penetration of different types of bullets. His theory is that bullet types that have a solid lead core seem to have a better chance of penetrating. That kind of would support this theory here where our 22 TCM 9R and the regular 22 TCM actually almost penetrated this steel. The same as over here where our Penetrator 2.0 from Elite which is a solid lead core penetrated and I shot this one off camera this was a desert ammo supply 40 grain VMAX out of the PS90 SBR and it almost penetrated it actually broke the slug out around it but there's like just a little bit hanging on there whereas we needed the PS90 SBR for the T6B to penetrate it didn't quite do it on the 5.7 and this is actually pretty hard copper. It's a really high on the C scale copper. This dev up here on the top, I think because of the angle, because this was pointed down and where it hit, it probably would have penetrated on a front straight face. I'll have to see if we can get some more of those. Our SS190 here was kind of no surprise based on prior steel testing. It seems that open base allows the aluminum core to get pushed out, wasting energy for penetrating, and you get something that doesn't penetrate. I didn't bother testing any of the 9mm loads on here after I saw the results from the 5.7 because the best steel core 9mm I have can't even put a dent in the quarter inch AR500 armor level 3A hard plate so I didn't even bother testing it. As always, thanks again for watching everybody. Until next time, take it easy everybody.